How's it going, people? It's time we uh, finished Alma. I mean, he's been fun and all, but... Tail end of the Outer Limits soundtrack. And then we'll play some of the Grateful Dead's... Um, some odds and ends of beers. I got one of these. And one of these. It ought to be enough for Alma. It's a short chapter. It's the last one. All right. And then we can get into Helaman, which is a somewhat short chapter. 15, 16... 16 chapters of Helaman. That won't take you long. 63 of Alma. Shiblon succeeds Helaman. Death of Moroni. But don't worry, there'll be another one along with the same name to confuse us further. And another Helaman. And who else? Uh, oh, another Nephi, another Lehi. And some of them will just have a ha at the end of the name to <laughs> come up with a name. All right. Death of Moroni. Hagoth, builder of ships. Nephite voyages to the land northward. Helaman, son of Helaman. See? Keeps the records. Moroni, ha. Huh? See, it's had a ha, and you got Moron, Moroni with a ha at the end. <laughs> New name. Uh, Moroni ha defeats Lamanites. End of Alma's account. Let's get on with it. It's a quick chapter. One. And it came to pass. Hmm. In the commencement of the thirty and sixth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, that Shiblon took possession of those sacred things which had been delivered unto Helaman by Alma Jr. Two, and he was a just man, and he did walk uprightly before God, and he did observe to do good continually to keep the commandments of the Lord his God, and also did his brother. They both did. Three. And it came to pass... That Moroni died also. And thus ended the thirty and sixth year of the reign of the judges. Four. And it came to pass. That in the thirty and seventh year of the reign of the judges, there was a large company of men even to the amount of 5,400 men with their wives and their children, and, and you know they didn't count, or they weren't counted. <laughs> Same thing. <sighs> Departed out of the land of Zarahimla into the land which was northward. Five. And it came to pass... That Hagoth, he being an exceedingly curious man, <coughs> therefore he went forth and built him an exceedingly large ship 
on the borders of the land bountiful. By the land desolation. And launched it forth into the West Sea, by the narrow neck which led to the land northward, wherever that is. Six, and behold, there were many of the Nephites who did enter therein, and did sail forth with much provisions, and also many women and children, and they took their course northward, and thus ended the thirty and seventh year. Seven. And in the thirty and eighth year, this man built other ships, and the first ship did also return, and many more people did enter into it. And they also took much provisions, <coughs> and set out again to the land northward. Eight. And it came to pass. That they were never heard of more. And we suppose that they were drowned in the depths of the sea. That's why one of the ships came back and got more people. Whatever. I forget where they're going with that. I mean, I think they meet these people later, but maybe I'm confusing that with an earlier part. Uh, so much repetition in this book. A collection of books. Whatever. A collection of plates, excuse me. Nine. And it came to pass that I need to take a drink. Wow, different taste completely. Hmm. That's when you really notice. And the wait, and it came to pass that in this year there were many people who went forth into the land northward, and thus ended the thirty and eighth year. Ten, and it came to pass. In the thirty and ninth year of the reign of the judges, Shiblon died. <clears throat> also, and Corianton had gone forth to the land northward in a ship to carry forth provisions unto the people who had gone forth into that land. Eleven. Therefore, it became expedient that Shiblon, for Shiblon to confer those sacred things before his death upon the son of Helaman, <coughs> who was called Helaman, Jr., being called after the name of his father, just like you, Joseph Smith, Jr., twelve. Now, behold, all those engravings which were in the possession of Helaman were written and sent forth among the children of men throughout all the land, save it were those parts which had been commanded by Alma should not go forth. Thirteen. Nevertheless, these things were to be kept sacred and handed down from one generation to another. Therefore, in this year, they had been conferred upon Helaman before the death of Shiblon. Fourteen. And it came to pass. <sighs> also, in this year, that there were some dissenters who had gone forth unto the Lamanites 
and they were stirred up again to anger against the Nephites. Fifteen, and also in this same year, they came down in with a numerous army to war with the people of Moranaiha, or against the army of Moranaiha, more, more or less, in the which they were beaten down and driven back again to their own lands, suffering great loss. Seventeen, and thus ended the account of Alma and Helaman, his son, and also Shiblon, who was his son. And that's it for uh, the Book of Alma. So, after that we've got Helaman. Was it 16, 17 chapters, I think? So, lots of war, lots of intrigue. There's a bit more of that in the next chapter. I mean, the next book. Excuse me. So, I think it's like, there's even a they even start coming up with some miracles finally. I think, oh, excuse me. I think what happened was they're like, hey, this book's getting really boring. Let's throw some war in. Hey, we need some assassinations. We need some intrigue. Oh, what else do we need now? Oh, fuck, we forgot to put very many good miracles in there. There's a few. Nephi shocking his brothers, and then later on he can't do it. Nephi breaking his bonds, but the next time he's helpless and weak. And they didn't even give him a haircut. Anyway, this is all some fascinating shit. I could just run on forever, but I, I think I won't. So, I hope you guys will see me in the Book of Helaman, and then 3rd Nephi, and on into infinity. Lots of fun. Good times. Peace. Fuck. Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you happen to be having. And um, chime in at... Nobody's being filtered here. Nobody's being censored. Say what you want to say, even if it ain't nice. I can handle it. Bye.